Okay, it's raining. It's kind of cold. The anchorage is incredibly swelly. But we're headed out because there's one important thing that humans need. Other than bananas. water. Bananas, Brett says. <laughs> we need provisions. Oh, I need shoes. Oh, yeah. We need shoes so we can go into the grocery store. The nearest grocery store from where we are is like a 12 hour sale. Maybe longer because we kind of have to go around a bank or a 45 minute car ride. So we're renting a car today and we're going to get the provisions. We have teamed up with Raph and Sasha, Spirit Animal. We're going to go dingy through the rain, head to the beach, get the rental car and go get groceries. And we're going to wear shoes. You going to wear my slippers right? So that we can go into the grocery there? store. I have no idea. It's been a while since we've worn Guessing shoes. they're outside. Good luck. Sunglasses? Nah. This is us. From just before we set off on our Atlantic crossing this summer, and this sopping wet mess of an anchorage is Calabash Bay, located on the northern tip of Long Island in the Bahamas. We don't know it yet, but we're about to enter a favorite chapter in our lives. The Raggeds are calling, and exploring those remote uninhabited islands is what'll inspire the big and spontaneous ocean crossing. But before we head off to islands and oceans unknown, we have a soggy dirt road overlanding expedition to find supplies. It's a good day for car adventures. Yeah. I feel like you need to be like, Zzz. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that brings me back to the boatyard days. Yeah. Really. I think so. Damn. Really needed that cat. Get a wagon, okay? Yeah. Okay. Gas cans, but that's later, right? I just told her to get it. Getting those things out of the ocean Ooh. and onto the beach, that was lightning. There's lightning all around. Yeah, it's not fun. This is fun. All right. We literally just watched Vaga's video this morning about <laughs> lightning strikes. Perfect. Oh, man. <laughs> Great. It's okay, they have the taller masks. <laughs> Raph and Sasha. <Yeah. laughs> Sucks okay. for you. Maybe one of the catamarans will get luckier. <laughs> luckier. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Do 
want to see your foot in the gutter? Yeah. All right. Fresh water. Yeah. Look at all that wasted fresh water that we could have been using on the boat. We could drink that. We could. These gas shocks do not work. I will hold it. <laughs> okay. Done. Right hand drive. <laughs> How much gas do we have? All right, quarter tank. All right. Out of the car. I guess you haven't gone very far. <laughs> so far, so good. You just backed out. Though we both got in the opposite sides. Yeah, that was funny. There yes. is a towel right here. You guys can prepare. Hopefully, the further south we go, the less it's raining. Hopefully. Oh, so I wonder if you opened up a ball joint and leaf spring shop. We got here. Yeah, you boys got it. Lies. We'll just vlog over here. We'll yep, get we're the just trash away. You know, you're actually working hard holding that up. Oh, I should do this as like a, a, a shoulder. Oh. Is that it? Holy crap! Look how many flies there are. We could have got that footage in our boat. What? <laughs> Just rubbing sand off my feet really takes me back. What? The rubbing sand off my feet out the side of the car. This place looks great. They've got so much stuff in here. Whatever it is, tomato sauce. Is it worth it? $5. Wow, you got a lot of lines. <laughs> what was it ran into you? I was gonna lift him up to show you, I They also said two miles down the road this way, uh -huh. uh, the gas station fills with protein. Nice. Perfect. Nice. We're set. I think we're. That was an extremely successful trip. Sufficiently provisioned. Sufficiently provisioned. Okay. We usually get one treat every time. We got two this time. Bark root beer. Also Oreos. No regrets there. Ugh. That was successful. Definitely. Oh, this is so Are you kidding me? Yep. About what? I love root beer and I never get it because there's not caffeine. Yeah, Barks is the only caffeinated one. There's not a lot of caffeine, but. People don't realize that how expensive groceries here are in the Bahamas. So because of expensive. Import fees and everything that the Bohemians have to pay. And I don't know how Bohemians can afford to live in the Bahamas. The groceries here are so Same. expensive. I, once we did a YouTube short and I bought a mango and I was like, oh, then the mango is $2. And so many comments on that video are like, oh, white girl tax, they charged you because you're a tourist. Like, that's so funny, you had to pay $2 for a mango. Yeah. But everybody that's, here is paying everybody. $2 for a mango. Everybody. Unless you have a mango tree. <laughs> I feel yeah. like $2 is kind of cheap, though. Like, exactly. Here, I yeah. I feel like, you, like a mango would be like six bucks in a bomb. Can we just high center? Yeah. <laughs> Shots fired. Okay, this is the oldest church building, supposedly, in the Bahamas. And it's full of shrimp. Apparently, there's a small hike to go see a whole of shrimps. To go get baptized, is what Raph says. I could do it. <laughs> I'll probably do for another one. <laughs> That's what we're going to use for our headers. <laughs> Who needs to do something better? I bet there's like gold under this thing. I mean, every old movie I've ever seen. Ooh, there's wasps. People leave coins up here as like. Back up slowly, Sasha. Oh. There's a wasp's nest. You think nest. this like lifts? You think someone's buried under there? I mean, there's definitely treasure. There's probably like a whole underground tunnel system. Do you remember that one we? Where were we? With your mom that we found the fake church. It was in Guatemala. Oh, yeah. 
fake church? Yeah, it was like this. It was made out of styrofoam. Yeah, it, it looked like a super old, like historic building. Then you walk up to it and you're looking at it you're like this is so cool. I think we made it. Welcome to the shrimp hole. Really cool. Oh wow, it's like just this flatness and then the wholeness. Oh. <laughs> no like, W. Oh, that's cool. Is it fresh water? Yeah, it's it oh, fresh water. Ah! Snake or lizard? Oh, the amount of mosquitoes. Uh, no, Holy, I'm no longer interested. <laughs> See those shrimps? Oh, yeah. Well, they're bigger than I remember them being. To your left and down. Oh, right there. So they got bit by bugs? Yeah, they got like mites or like water mites or something like that. Oh, that's gross. What is that? Jade, what's, what's your take on the shrimp hole? Do you like a sponsor for off? For off. <laughs> then, yeah, I think that there's a lot of things you can only enjoy if you're properly prepared. For what? We were not prepared for the mosquitoes. We didn't have any mosquito repellent. And there were so many of them. Or sunscreen. That being said, that was very beautiful. Ooh, check that out. What is it? It's a snake with legs. He's huge. Anyway, that was fun, but I'm glad that we're running away because there were so many mosquitoes. So if you go, bring bug spray. But it was beautiful. The water was super clear. And I think that's the first time I've ever seen shrimps in real life, like, that are alive. <laughs> <laughs> that weren't on your plate. That's as far as our van could make it. Doesn't have the most ground clearance. What? <laughs> Ow! Everywhere. Where's Sasha? Rap, do you not get bit by mosquitoes? Dude, apparently not. They I just watched them biting me. The water wasn't clear in the anchorage where we were. And we have made it back. Everything went great. Uh, got all the produce, got all the provisions, had a lovely lunch. And now, here's the dilemma. There is a lot of sand between our dinghy and the ocean. That's a long way to drag this. Oh, we're still not floating. Oh, that's the one. Oh, it's so heavy in the back. There we go. Nice. Woo. Let's go home. Oh, are you in the sand? Yeah. Gotta do a little shallow water setting first. Okay. Okay, a lot. <laughs> I'm just letting you go see what bang on the no, boat. Yeah, Good morning. It is about 5.30 a.m. The sun is not up yet but it is thinking about it. We've been up for about an hour, kind of getting the boat ready, getting us woken up, because today we are sailing to the Raggeds. It was a late night saying bye to some of our favorite people over on Spirit Animal. I just want to let you know that this table of people is currently debating. I beat you all this in. In a fight. That is young. It's like yeah. you fighting. And Raph are saying that you could take any of us right now. Yes, Ayana. Ayana, come here. Ayana. Ayana. We'll see them again, and they'll definitely be coming up in some of our future videos, so remember the name. But in the meantime, we're racing the sun and tides, because honestly, 
this path to the ragged is kind of sketch. Good morning. Jade just got out of the shower. It's so cold. Uh, you really don't get any sort of scale. You can see how much the boat's moving up and down right now. Imagine if we were getting hit on the side, like all these boats over here. Well, you can't see them. But with that kind of swell hitting you, I mean, you'd be almost tow rail to tow rail. Just boom. Instruments are on. Well, oh, they're turning on. Time to raise anchor. We have a swell bridle set up. So this line goes out to our anchor, kind of makes like a, a Y right there to our anchor chain. So we need to release that. We'll then swing nose pointing towards the anchor and then we can pull it in. You ready? So now you can see how much we'd be rocking without that bridle. Anchor alarm, I always forget to turn off. Right in the eye. This sun? Yeah. We are on track. It's a beautiful downwell, downwell, downwind. It's a downwell sail. Downwell sail. And I am going to go back to sleep. I'm a little seasick just because the anchorage was so rocky up at the very front of the boat. Like getting the anchor up and stuff, my head was down and I was in the lazarette while the boat was going like this. Right. Jade and the dogs are still in bed. I just got the mainsail out. We are currently doing what's called the Comer Channel, going from Long Island at Calabash Bay down to the Ragged Islands. We shifted our angle a little bit. We're having to kind of follow a really shallow path kind of around the island here. This passage is a little precarious because it is quite shallow. I don't think we could do it at anything but high tide. Hopefully we get there in one piece. We've heard really, literally only good things about the Ragged Islands. And so we are very excited. Buddy. I dreamt that I came out here and you were deep cleaning the cockpit and you had like moved all of the cushions but the cockpit was full of gigantic bees and they were all landed on me and so I just had to bees? hold yeah so I was like really holding still and you were like moving around like cleaning and I was like there's bees everywhere and then you were like calling the dogs to come out here and I was like no they're gonna bite the bees it was a weird dream it was a weird dream look an oh. island Number five. What is it? What is it? It's a fish. <laughs> yeah, saddle, saddle, Penny. Dingo, <laughs> <laughs> settle down. Oh, you guys don't want to watch this. We've never had barracuda that we know of, but it's kind of it's kind of green. It's weird. Mm, it's not picking up on the green. But it definitely no, is. Wait, maybe if you compare it to the blue water. Can you guys tell that it's green. 
It doesn't look green on the camera. <sighs> okay, but in real life, it's almost like a illuminant, like it's like a green glow. It looks kind of gross, actually. This is beautiful sailing. I was gonna say it has been a beautiful sail, but it is currently still a beautiful sail. It's just been an amazing day. And I know if we had stayed in the anchorage, we would have been uncomfortable. We were just talking about that, that it's just rolly enough of that anchorage to make it not fun. But out here, it's just so nice. Like this is, every time we get on the water, we're always like, why didn't we sail more? When she set that anchor, it's easy to get stuck and to spend a while in an anchorage. But as soon as we get sailing, we're always like, oh, we just need to sail more often than the anchor. Agreed. We just had a short little chat with that catamaran going by. That was Jolene. Jolene, if you see this, hi. Uh, they just came from the Ragged's and we're going through the Comer Channel. They're going the other way, obviously. And they just let us know that they have, I think it was a 1.4 draft and they had a meter under the keel at all times. So two and a half, 2.4. It's not a whole lot since we basically draw two meters. So half a meter. Yep. And the tide is falling. So be a little tight, be a little tight which is luck. The wind found us a little bit. So we are cruising at five and a half knots, which is nice. Just cruising. It's beautiful, beautiful day. We were talking about how it's such a beautiful day today that it's so nice to be sailing because if we were in an anchorage, especially if we were in that anchorage, the one we were in, we would think today was a miserable day because it wouldn't be protected at all. And because we're sailing, it's just like a beautiful day. That's something big. We are going through the most shallow section right now. We have only about a foot of water underneath our keel and it's a little nerve wracking and Brett currently is fighting a new fish on the line. Barracuda. <laughs> and it's a barracuda. That's all we know how to catch apparently. But it doesn't matter what lure we use. Every lure, it's because we're in such shallow water, I think. Uh-uh. Mm. about the shallow shallow water good I think we're almost out of the shallow shallow now we're just in the shallow <laughs> one nice thing about shallow water like this is that it is just absolutely incandescent Woot. okay we are now past anything that says less than two meters <laughs> which means we're good I, I mean as long as there's not like a coral head but the actual like bottom is now deep enough for us, even at low tide. I mean, it worked. But we are headed pretty much right where we need to go and the wind is now at our back. Our head sail is just loose because it is completely blocked by our main sail. And so we are going to try and go wing on wing again. I just put the preventer on so that if we don't accidentally jibe and break stuff. Now I need Jade's assistance. I've changed my clothes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is still the same day. I feel like every single time we've turned on the yep. camera, I've been wearing new clothing. Um, that's funny. I was going to say how much I love going wing on wing. It's my favorite way to sail. Is it? One day we'll have a spinnaker, and then maybe that'll be my favorite way. But so far, wing on wing is the best I know. This would be perfect spinnaker weather. Yeah. Oh, this is salty. Oh, <laughs> 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 Diving. <laughs>
<laughs> the grunting noises that we make when wearing the mouth mount for the GoPro. Super handy for filming when we need to be using our hands. Not great for communication. Oh, hello. Did you just sit here right now? I think she just came and sat under me as I was sitting down. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful. Would you look at this? You guys can't, I'm turning the ham around. Would you look at this? Now you can see it. Last time we used this mouth mount must have been in the ocean. It's really salty. It's like saltier than the ocean. Then salt. Can you taste that? Here, let me taste. <laughs> Don't spit on me. Oh. I was just kidding. I really thought you wanted that. I was like, that's weird, but all right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Just wanted to kiss you all nice. Okay. It's Brett's turn for a nap. He just went inside, so he's gonna lay down his head and sleep for a little while. And then after that, I think we'll both be to like minimum operating levels for sleep. And I'm going to take a solo shift. And it's probably gonna be the most easy sailing shift that I have ever taken in my entire life. Cause this is just splendid. I wish, like any of you, oh, as I'm accidentally jiving. <laughs> oh, we're good, we're good. And there's a fish on the line. <laughs> anyway, what I was gonna say is that this is just so, so pleasant that it makes me just feel like this is what somebody who's having like a really stressful day or your boss is being rude or something. Like, just pretend you're on the boat and can just relax and not worry about anything. That's the kind of day this is, as it's jivey behind me again. But if that's the biggest worry in the world, then I'll take it. Penny's biggest worry is whether or not there is actually a fish on the line. Huh, oh, little miss. Is there a fish? And just like that, the watch handoff has happened. I think we crossed over for maybe 15 minutes. That fish. Nope. No fish. The fish thought about it. Anyways, now Jade's sleeping and I'm awake. The swell has picked up quite a bit. Jade put away the mainsail. Because the swell has picked up so much. Stuff's falling over. Yeah, and we're rocking around a bit more. Wing on wing just wasn't really doable. We don't have a whisker pole. That's cool. Well, the dinghy's having a good time back there. Just surfing along. Uh, we are about six miles away from our anchorage. So about an hour and a half. I'm really considering turning on the engine to make it take half that so we can get there while there's still sun. We are, the sun isn't high enough that we can see through the water very well, but it's still nice to anchor when the light's out. All right, I just kicked on the engine. We're now doing seven knots, so half the time, but it's significantly less comfortable. And we're getting exhaust fumes blowing in because we're downwind, so I don't know how long will this will last. Maybe we'll make just a little bit of extra headway and then turn it back off. We don't need to motor. Zero reason we need to. But I justify it because it'll have hot water for showers and we should be able to top off our batteries even just with this little motoring because of the new alternator. Ah. We're 
racing the sun. I think we're gonna win. Hey look, Jade's awake with a new outfit. Don't buy a couch. Buy a boat instead. I wanted to be napping, but Brett decided to motor. Oh, whatever, you woke up before the motor. <laughs> I know, I was easy. <laughs> <laughs> but the motor is loud. I feel like the new alternator is louder. It is. Yeah, I still have pretty mixed opinions on this alternator. It definitely makes the engine work harder. You can just hear it and feel it. And Well, right now we're getting the exhaust. I feel like it's gonna explode. I feel like it's gonna catch fire. Jade feels like it's gonna catch fire. I don't think it's gonna catch fire. Well, I don't know, it gets pretty hot. But it does have like a thermal cutoff, so it does limit itself. As long as it works. True, as long as the thermal, whatever, cutoff works. We are almost to the anchorage. We are really close to these rocks though. So we're gonna put the sail away so we have a little more just like finite control. And we're here almost, barely. Okay. Look at the, holy crap. I'm glad I wasn't paying attention. We are so close to these rocks. 400 feet. I just put my bikini back on. The big t-shirts though, like they're just a vibe. The amount of cute sundresses that I own that I never wear, you know, because they're too tight or they've got elastic in the cleany, like the best thing on hot days, oversized t-shirts. Give it a try. I promise Give you won't be disappointed. Try. Unprotected acreage. Yeah. But we'll enjoy the seclusion while we can. Absolutely. Well, we haven't had an acreage to ourselves since getting to the Bahamas. Are we wearing clothes right now? <laughs> That's a good question. Okay, I'll go drop the anchor. What do you think? It's so fun to go to a new island. We've never been to this island before. All the other islands we've gone to the Bahamas so far this season, we've been to before. This is our first, like, properly new adventure exploration. What? Close to high tide. Yeah. Let's take it in and let's go a little deeper. Okay. Well, I don't know if you heard that, but Brett says he just looked at the tides and we're pretty near high tide right now. So we're actually gonna anchor a little farther from the beach. That way we aren't surprised by the tide going out. Okay, drive forward. So he's gonna drive forward. I'll take up the anchor. We'll scoot back a little bit. Then we'll do this all over again. Be a good spot for the night. Perfect with the sun. Well played, nature. We made it before the sunset. We win! We won the race! We won the race! Ha! I'm gonna make another outfit change because I'm gonna put on my swimsuit and I'm not gonna tell you what's gonna happen next because I wanna show you what the dogs do when I put on my swimsuit. It's kinda cute. I thought it'd be fun to share. Ooh! My baked potatoes are baking the whole house. Let's turn that oven on. To the beach! To the beach! Let's go to the beach! Let's go! I am so totally excited! And you can't even hide it. Can't even hide! I was just trying to act like how the dogs are acting. What? You look beautiful. Okay. Skipped a step there, but that's all right. 
do you think they know what the next step is? Uh -huh. Was that the sound of pleasure at having no bugs on you? That was the pleasure of ice cold bug PSI on PSI. What? Ooh, is that a new ding on the front? Distinctly looks like a new ding on the front right there. Distinctly looks like a new ding on the front. The ding is a bit of a mess. Yeah, the thing is a big mess because we went to the beach in Calabash Bay yesterday and we got a GoPro uh, shadow on my face. And the waves kind of swamped it over the back and just filled it up. There's no kind of. The waves 100% swamped it. Did you just kick me? So, where are we? We are at Water Key here uh, in the Ragged Island chain. It has some mixed reviews on this anchorage. Apparently it's pretty sharky because the local fishing boats will come and clean their fish and conk. If you can see the mounds, those little mountains over there, those are conk. They come and clean everything here and dump it so the sharks come and eat. This is just kind of a stopping point for us. I don't know how long we'll stay at this exact anchorage. Probably just depends on how comfortable it is. Apparently the diving is amazing around here. You just have to watch out for sharks. We're pretty good at that, dodging sharks. This is, this is beautiful. Uh, I'm, I'm super happy to be here. This anchorage I think is gonna be more comfortable than where we were in Calabash Bay. And I think right now it is, it's a little bit swelly, but the wind is coming the same direction as this well, so it's not too bad. Uh, tomorrow, it may, I think the wind's supposed to shift though. So the wind may be opposing the swell, which may make it pretty uncomfortable. But we'll see. It's pretty protected actually from the east. It may end up just kind of canceling out and being super, super calm. But we'll see. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that we were here before it's dark. I'm happy that we have an anchorage to ourselves. I love when we have an anchorage to ourselves and a beach to ourselves. There isn't much beach right now, but we're here and everybody is happy. Go, go, go. Feels good to stretch the legs after sailing all day. What do you think, Penny? Just found somebody's fire pit, but no heat. Looks pretty fresh though. Maybe a couple days old. Looks like a good place to have a fire. Oh, you're so happy, huh, Dingo? Go get Jade. What's your opinion on the green flash? Think it's a thing? Well, we'll get to see here in just a second if there's a green flash or not. Everybody talks about it as is like the northern lights, like this green flash. But really it's like 
a green little bitty sliver. Are you filming the green flash? Are you waiting for the green flash? Yeah. It's pretty close. <laughs> I love you. I love you. There's a little fire pit over there. Be a good place to have a little fire. Yeah, you should do it with yours though. Yeah, hey, we gotta move. We're getting mosquitoed. But here comes the flash with the boat. No! <laughs> wait, wait, don't block it. Oh. <laughs> there it is, right there. Oof. Okay, that's funny. So we filled up two SD cards today. Are we filming like way higher? No, we just haven't dumped the SD cards in a while. Oh, we should probably do that. Beautiful. You go, you go, girl. <laughs> Home we go. Look at this. <sighs> Doesn't get much better. The Crooked Island, no. No, nope. Ragged, ragged Island. Ragged Islands. <laughs> I think we should try it because you're currently swarmed with mosquitoes. Can you get in? We're gonna go fast! This blows all the mosquitoes away so they don't follow us home. We gotta go faster than they can. Look at these clouds! Wow! This is so pretty! Ooh, and we're home! That was quick. Go home! Go home! She's always worried we're gonna drop her off and not come. Penny really likes the whole family to stay together. You look amazing in this light. A little pink, but that might be the sunburn talking. No. The sunburn is telling me I want to go to bed. Early. Early. <laughs> Nearly headless. Sea water's supposed to stand outside. Oh man. Yeah, let's cross the Atlantic. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a video.